How you guys doing? This is Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. So I promised you guys a how-to video on how to seal a tank or reseal a tank after it leaks. So first, I'm going to take you guys through and tell you what this person did wrong in sealing this tank. Because you guys can see there's gobbered silicone in the corners. These corner beads are very, very thin. Uh, they should not be be this thin they didn't use a tool to smooth it out so it's left a, a thin little piece of silicone a big ball and then another little strip of silicone over in this back corner you guys can see that the silicone is just delaming de that is from not properly cleaning your tank before you silicone and as you guys can see they just kind of gobbled it in there there's small silk on a big hump on the outside to where you can just peel that back. That is not supposed to happen. If you seal the tank correct, that will not happen. So let me go and grab some supplies and I'll get back with you guys and show you how we clean this tank out. All right, we're back. So I just went up and I got two different razor blades. I'll tell you why that is in a minute. Some isopropyl rubbing alcohol and a clean rag. So first what you guys want to do is take your first razor blade and you guys want to basically scrape out the whole inside. Now on these side panels you want to watch because one way you can get the razor blade between the glass you don't want to do that. So you want to take it against the adjacent panel scrape up against the, the flat piece of glass there and then you can take it on this side and just scrape it all the way off all the way up so let me go ahead and get some of this out of here and I'll uh, come back with the next step and what you guys should so an easy way you guys can tell which glass you want to cut against if you look at the seams you'll see the most time the front piece of glass is the one extending and then there is a seam in between these two pieces of glass here so as I said Go on the inside, you cut against your front piece of glass, as you can see this is kind of just falling off, and then you take up this side and you just ride the glass all the way up, and there you go, your silicone bead is out. So now that your silicone bead is removed, you want to take the same razor blade and you want to go up this glass and basically clean off any of the microscopic residue so you guys will get all this off and you want to do it on both sides all the way up till you get all the silicone off as you can with this razor blade and as you guys can see nice clean cut corner it's squared off you're not gouging into this seam in between the two glasses and then you can just come back and put a new silicone bead in there but Let's go ahead and get the rest of these uh, corners out and then I'll work on the bottom and I'll show you guys what you should do next. One other thing I want to share with you guys. So you can get a couple of different styles of razor blades. I usually get these from Home Depot, a pack of about 30 of them for just a couple bucks. You can see it has the extra guard on top so you guys don't cut open your fingers or nothing like that. And it also, it's also squared off. So once you get some silicone cleared out, you can stick it against your back piece of glass that when you're worried about poking in the seam, and you can just ride it all the way up the edge of the glass, get a nice square cut, and you guys are perfect. So those are a little bit of tips and tricks I like to do when I'm cutting out the silicone for these tanks. Now when it comes to this bottom panel, for those of you who don't know how tanks are put together they usually have this trim on it but the bottom piece always sits flat and then these side glasses sit on top and are bonded to your bottom piece of glass so when you're cutting out for the bottom piece you always want to cut down first make that cut all the way across and then come back with your square blade and cut all the way across here so here I'll show you guys how that looks you take your blade cut down against the glass then you come back with a squared off edge stick it against that panel and you just run with it as you can see that seam is coming right up 
if you guys can see, then you just pull it out all the way down. Now you can see what I'm talking about, that these people didn't clean the tank properly, and you can see it's just delaming. That was part of the seam that I didn't cut, and it's just peeling right up. So I'll, I'll show you guys how to properly clean this glass before you adhere the new silicone because that is one of the biggest parts for resealing an old tank. Okay, you guys can see I've got this bead out, this bead out, and this bead out. Now the trickiest part about pulling the silicone out is definitely the corners because you have to, for one, square it off against the bottom panel and square it off against the side panel and then you've got the opposite direction on the bottom panel and bottom panel this way. So you technically have four cuts to make for every corner bead. And most people just try and get in there with the razor blade and just gouge at it and just rip it out. That's doing more damage than good. Just take your time, cut it, make your four cuts and the thing will pull right out and it'll be a nice square edge. Nothing really too monstrous to clean up. And then you've only got four of them. And it'll make your seals, when you're putting them in, last a lot longer. Now you guys do have the seals up here in the top corner. Make sure you are getting them as well. You want to make sure that every surface, every little piece of silicone is off, but allowing the bead between the glass here, so meaning this little 3 8 inch gap of bead in between the two glasses, that has to stay. So now showing you guys how this looks, you go in there, you go in this way, till you touch the glass, you'll feel it cut all the way through. Don't push too hard because you'll go underneath that pane of glass. Cut against this piece of glass, and of course you cut down. And you just pull your razor blade out. And that right there is your whole corner bead of silicone. As you can see, there's not much there. So clearly the person who resealed this before didn't really know how big of a bead to use. This ain't bad, it held for a while, but if you don't use the adequate techniques then your seal won't last for years at a time. Alright, so I got all the silicone out, all four corners. Now you guys want to go ahead and vacuum this out, get up every little piece of silicone you can. Now you guys are probably wondering, he said we needed two razor blades, but for what reason? So I'll tell you why. Even though you think that all the silicone is gone, there is still a microscopic layer of silicone there. So you guys want to rub your fingers across it and get off any sort of residue of silicone on these edges. So you guys can see I'm wiping it off there. You guys don't see it with your eyes after you cut it with the first blade. Now you've been cutting against glass and you're dulling this blade. So you come over here and you grab a fresh blade after you think you're all said and done. You unwrap it and then you want to re-scrape this tank all the way around. And it'll pull off a little microscopic layer of silicone. Being, see, you see that falling? That is all silicone that you guys would have missed without doing it this way. So after you go ahead and scrape this all the way out, see, as you guys can see, little fine layer of silicone right there. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape this out and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Alright, I just got done scraping it for a second time. Now if you guys do put light on top of it, it does help you see a lot better when you're scraping out the silicone. You can see I just set mine back up on top of the fish tank so I can talk to you guys. Now. After you're scraped out the second time, what you guys want to do is, of course, vacuum it out, get all the debris out. Then you guys want to grab your rubbing alcohol. And you guys want to put it on, on your rag, and you basically want to clean every seam that you are going to be siliconing. This will clean each seam that you are try trying to do, and it will make the silicone bond, bond stronger to the glass because it will get all the microscopic dirt out of the pores of the glass and it also when you're cleaning it with the rubbing alcohol it should be real slick and easy to slide if you catch up on anything there's any sort of little, little it stops your, your rag then you know there's something on that glass that should not be, be there so what I usually do 
is I'll scrape it a third time after I clean it with uh, rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then we can get on to the good stuff and resealing the tank. Alright guys, so I just wiped out every single corner after scraping it twice with uh, isopropyl rubbing out alcohol. Now normally I would let this dry and scrape it a third time, but the silicone came out way too easily. It wasn't even attached in most spots. So we're just going to go ahead and start stealing out this tank. We are reusing the, the black show silicone because this was a show tank. So we're going to go ahead and stick with that and go ahead and get this baby sealed up. Alrighty, the big man over here, he's got his black silicone. He's getting ready to lay the bead down. And because his arm is... There, just... I'll try left-handed. There's some water in here. Oh, under the reflection of this. <laughs> I freaked out for a second. I'm like, how is this clean? Well, just make sure you lay a nice, even bead all the way down. Ouch. Ouch. Of course, all, all four bottoms. And then all four sides. Got to make sure you got got to do it fast and quick. So as soon as that silicone touches air, it's going to start uh, creating a skin. And if you, don't you want no skin built up, you want no skin. If that that starts to skin, means you can't smooth smooth out, out your bead. You can't push it in into the corner. And you're just going to cause full or a leak later on in life. Now, for people who are just getting started and be beginning, most of the time you would do take there, Josh, painter's this, tape. This hit the lip, so yeah, I'm no sorry. Problem. You take painter's tape and you tape off exactly where you want the bead on every corner. And then once you are done, you can take that tape and just pull it right off, and it would make a nice, e even seam. So. I'm going to go ahead and start smoothing out these corners and be right back. Alright guys, the corner bead is in. Sorry I couldn't film it and had to, to move quick. The object always is. Put the bead down and hurry up and get in there and put the bead up quick. So you can see it turned out not too shabby. And uh, now you got to let this dry for 24 hours. At least 20, yeah, 24 hours before you... If, if, there, if you got, see like right here, we got a little bit on the window, too much, I can go back and cut that off, but wait 24 hours. Just let it let it set and let, let it do its magic. And uh, then you can clean up a little bit. And then it's ready for water as soon as you're, as soon as you're done. So if you wait 20 to 24, you're pushing it a little bit. If you really want to go the extra mile, you can wait 48 hours. Then the inside of the silicone will be cured 100%. And then you guys, like you said, you can fill it with water. And always test fill it for three days. If it holds for th three days, you're, you're good. But there's been many times where I've sealed a tank in the past, thought you know the seal was good because I filled it up with water and it held. And then two days later, it sprung a leak and had to redo it, do the same thing.